Hi everyone, thank you so much for joining us for another Keeper Corner. My name is Emma, I am one of the zookeepers here, and we are joined today with Waldo, who is our African Grey Parrot. Now Waldo is just a little over five years old now, but parrots can live a very, very long life. So we like to think of Waldo kind of in his toddler years right now. Now you learned with zookeeper Johanna and Elliot, our blue and yellow macaw, that parrots are very good at mimicking sounds and talking. And Waldo and the African gray parrots are an excellent example of that mimicry. In fact, they're some of the, they are some of the best mimickers out of all the parrots in the entire world. So Waldo would like to show off just how well he can mimic all of the things that he hears every single day. Now, I love all of my animals here at the zoo that I take care of, and some of them I can cuddle with, like our rabbits or our rats, but some of them I can't get too close to. Waldo is one of those that I can't get too close to. If you look really closely, he has a very strong beak that he is using to eat these nuts. Now, parrot beaks are very strong. They can actually break very lots of really hard nuts and shells, and if he really wanted to, he could really do some damage to one of my fingers. But he has shown, he has learned to show me love from afar because I have been blowing him kisses from very far away. So let's see, Waldo, can I have a kiss? Thank you, buddy. So he learned, he has learned to give me a kiss right when I ask him to do. Let's see if he can do it for you guys too. Can we have a kiss? Thank you, good job, buddy. So that's one of the really cute sounds that Waldo has learned to make. Now, he's one of our ambassador animals, so he actually lives behind the scenes, so you don't get to see Waldo when you're walking around the zoo when you're visiting. He comes out for special occasions, like coming out to our wild safari theater, our animal encounter stage, or traveling to schools. So he actually lives with some of our other ambassador animal friends, like Johnny, our African serval cat. What do you think? Can you do a cat? Oh, okay. What have you got? Can you do a cat? Good job, buddy. So he has spent so much time around Johnny that he has learned to mimic Johnny's meow. Let's do it again. Can you do a cat? Meow. Good job, buddy. So another really great sound that Waldo has learned here at the zoo. Now, from time to time, he has actually learned some pretty inappropriate sounds that you would never think how he would learn that sound. What do you think? Does something smell bad? <laughs> yep. So he makes a nice little toot sound. No idea where he would have learned that sound effect. What do you think? Does something smell bad? <laughs> it's actually his favorite sound. So if you have any five-year-olds at home, that also might be their favorite sound. So parrots actually have the same intelligence level as about a three to four-year-old child. And since they live such a long time, um, they're pretty, sometimes they're pretty popular in the pet trade. Imagine having a three to four year old child in your home for like 80 years. That would be like if you had a parrot as a pet. Let's see. Does something smell bad? <laughs> it's also probably my favorite sound too. It's pretty cute. Now, sometimes Waldo even sees some pretty cute birds from time to time. So if you've ever visited our birds up in Jungle Outpost in the Seeker Jungle, Havala is one of his longtime friends, and she is our Goffins cockatoo. She is pretty darn cute, and Waldo likes to tell her exactly how cute she is. Can you whistle? <laughs> yeah, he will whistle when he sees Havala from time to time. He also whistles when he sees some zookeepers from time to time, too. Can you whistle? Good job, buddy. So while we have been closed, we've been able to do some pretty unique things with enrichment for our animals. For instance, with some of our parrots that live up here in the secret jungle, they have been able to watch a lot of movies. So Waldo is a big fan of watching Star Wars. Star Wars is one of his favorite movies. And so he, the other day, him and our friend Sydney Bird, she and Waldo were watching Star Wars together. And so he picked up on some pretty great sounds from Star Wars too. Let's see, do you have a favorite droid? Oh, he's just gonna fart. Like I said, it's his favorite sound. Let's try again. Who's your favorite droid? Good job, buddy. So R2-D2 is his favorite droid. R2-D2 is also my favorite droid in Star Wars. So yeah, that's right. Now, while he was watching Star Wars, he also picked up on some evil sounds. So those stormtroopers, no matter what happens, they just can't seem to aim right. What do you think, Waldo? Pew pew. Pew pew. <laughs> yep, so he makes the pew pew sound from the stormtroopers. Yeah, they just can't aim right, can they? 
Now some, he does have some other sounds that he does all the time. Now one of his very cute sounds that he gets to make that some of our zookeepers have taught him when they've been hanging out with him is the charge whistle. So we'll see if he can do it for you guys and then maybe we can all do it together. Sometimes he doesn't like to do the sounds that I ask him to. What do you think? Charge! Good job, buddy. Yeah, so some of our zookeepers, they actually help me train Waldo. So what that means is that when Waldo makes a sound that we want him to make, we actually give him a treat, a reward. So it's kind of like at home, if you guys maybe cleaned your room, you might get dessert for dinner, or your friends might get to come over. You get a reward for doing something that your parents really like. We do the same thing with our animals. And so we've trained Waldo that whenever he makes special sounds, we give him a treat. Over time, we add what is called a cue to it so that when, that he knows when we say that cue or do that cue, he has to make that sound, and when he makes a sound, he gets a treat. So let's see. Charge! Good job, buddy. Do you guys want to try it at home with me? We'll see if we can all do the charge tune together with Waldo. Watch him not do the sound, though, when we need him to. Okay, Waldo. Charge! Good job, buddy. So he is a very, very cute bird. I love getting to hang out with Waldo all the time. Over time, we're gonna hopefully teach Waldo some other really great sounds. Hopefully you guys get the chance to meet him at one of our encounter areas like the Wild Safari Theater. Be sure to tune in for fo uh, following the video for a special activity, but thank you so much for joining us. Waldo and I will see you guys later. Bye everyone.